Hi everyone and welcome to this video about how to add a domain to your Office 365 package. So to start you'd like to log into your Fastos control panel which is where I am now and just go to the email and office section. And when this is loaded just click on the Office 365 package that you want to add a, a domain to. So I'm just going to add it to this one here. So now we've logged into this package go to the domain name section or if you can click that choose a primary domain it's going to be the same and from here just click associate domain and what we're going to get now is a few options which we'll just run through so at the moment we can just see uh, the default domain name is there the on microsoft.com one which we don't want to use so we can register my free domain so if you haven't already got a domain you can just go ahead and register uh, the free one that you'll get with this package um, and Otherwise, you can register a new domain, um, but you will pay for that one, so that wouldn't be free. You'd have to register a new domain and pay the registration fee. You can use a domain registered elsewhere, so if you've already got a domain registered with another provider, you can enter it into this box here and use domain and follow the on-screen instructions. It's fairly self-explanatory um, how to do that. Uh, or you can choose a domain in your account, which is what I'm going to be doing, which is what the majority of users at this stage will be doing. So we've got two options here, domains with hosting and domains without hosting. So if we go to domains with hosting, we're getting to get a list of all our uh, domains associated with hosting packages at the moment. If you've got a hosting package and you're not seeing the domain name here, it's probably because you've got uh, email addresses associated with that package already so if you've got any other email product with that domain uh, so it could be mail like mail extra starter starter plus exchange 2013 any of those you're not going to see um that that domain listed here because you can't have uh, exchange 20 uh, well office 365 email addresses along with standard email so you'll have to delete all your existing email addresses if you want to add uh, office 365 for that domain if you go to the domains without hosting section there, you're gonna see these are just domains you have registered in your account, but don't have any services associated with them. So I'm gonna use this fhvideos.co.uk here. So select that. And what will happen next is that's just loading is we're gonna go through to this um, confirm your order page because we just have to add a email and web forwarding package to your account just so we can associate that with your Office 365 email. So if we just go through and confirm that, you have to read through the terms and conditions, but again, this is this is free. We just have to do the transaction to add that to your account. So now we've got setup in progress for this one. That wouldn't be happening. That's just because it's got to install the forwarding package. Setup in progress wouldn't happen if you had um, used a domain that already had an existing hosting package. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video there because that normally takes two or three minutes. Okay, that's installed now. So the status has changed for waiting for verification. And this is what you're going to see regardless of which type of domain you use to add to this package. So with this waiting for verif verification, if we click verify domain, we're going to see a DNS record that needs to be added for our domain. So if, you, uh, if your domain's registered elsewhere, you'll need to enter this record here as a TXT record uh, on your with your existing provider. If your domain is registered with Fasthost and you're using the Fasthost name servers, we'll do this bit automatically for you. Uh, just go ahead and click verify domain. However, it's a really good idea just to double check. So uh, if we go ahead and just copy that, it might not happen straight away as well. Ooh, let's just copy that. And if we just go and head over to our domain names. And again, if you're not using the Fastos name servers, even if you are uh, registered with us, then you will need to add these, this record with your name server provider as well. So even if a domain's registered with us, you need to be using the Fastos name servers, which this one actually isn't. So that's quite handy. So we click on that. So I'm just gonna bring these back to the default name servers, the Fastos ones. And Go ahead and update name server details. So your name servers need to be fast host. So they need to be livedns.co.uk. Uh, otherwise, you're going to need to go to that name server provider. If we just go to configure advanced DNS now, scroll down here. 
And we're probably going to see, oh, we've already, it's already been done automatically because I've come back to the fastest name server. So you can see the host name is blank and my TXT record is automatically in there. So that should automatically update and it can take up to 24 hours, I believe. So don't worry too much if, um, if it's not instant. If you've got an, your name servers elsewhere, add that TXT record and then go back to the domain and click on that verified domain link, uh, which I will just quickly show you. And that will be the end of the video. So if you know where I'm going, you don't need to keep watching. But now we're just in here. So if we go to domain names and we'll see verified domain, once you've added the txt record just go ahead and click that button and again it might take up to 24 hours but then it'll all be ready for use with your office 365 package and that's all there is to it thanks very much for watching goodbye for now